Welcome to the seventh annual Excellence in Student Leadership Awards program. My name is Ann Hopkins Gross, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Vice President for Student Development here at SUNY Cobleskill. Like many things these days, life is unfolding in ways that we had never expected, including this award ceremony. So of course, we wish we could have celebrated in person, but regardless, we wanted to ensure that we recognized our student leaders as we have in past years, even if the ceremony has a different spin to it since we can't be in person. It's important for all of us at Kobe to take the time to reflect and acknowledge all of the amazing work you, our students, have accomplished. Og Mandian, an American author, said, I will love the light for it shows me the way, yet I will endure the darkness for it shows me the stars. Your light shined brightly when you were on campus, and now, in this darker of times, you are our stars. You will continue on to be the leaders we in our country and in the world will look toward as you carve your path and work collaboratively with others to contribute to our future society. We need you. Keep doing the good work that you are doing, even if it is on pause for a little while. And now, a little about the Excellence in Student Leadership Awards. This program was developed to recognize students who are not only engaged in leadership roles, but who have distinguished themselves among the leaders within the Cobble School campus community, the best of the best. Those of you that are receiving awards today are being honored for your record of engagement and sustained leadership involvement in areas including, but not limited to, student activities, clubs and organizations, diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, community service, student programming, and athletics. You are viewed by your peers, staff, and faculty as outstanding citizens who have distinguished yourselves as dedicated members and leaders of the student body. There are five categories of recognition. The first is the Emerging Student Leader Award. Next, Excellent in Student Leadership. The third is the Agent of Change Award. And then there's the Distinguished Excellence in Student Leadership Award. And finally, the Student Leader of the Year Award. Now, before we get to the actual awards, I would like to share with you the nomination and selection process. Candidates are nominated or were nominated by faculty and staff. Once nominated, each candidate was required to complete a comprehensive application outlining their various leadership roles, community service activities, co-curricular activities, awards, honors, and other special contributions that demonstrates their leadership while attending SUNY Cobleskill. The applications are then reviewed by the selection committee. Each of you will, re will receive in the mail your award, which is in the form of a plaque, along with your leadership pin, which you should keep in a safe place to wear on your graduation day. Don't lose it. Uh, we are truly excited to honor 31 students who have distinguished themselves within one of these three categories, demonstrating excellence in student leadership. That's less than 2% of our students. The work you have accomplished as student leaders rivals any other campus in the United States. Now, at this time, I would like to introduce and acknowledge the award selection committee. And they are Matt Barney, Derwin Bennett, Anna Bouchard, Matthew Lalonde, Christina Pratt, Katie Simpson, Sherry Thorrington, and last but not least, Mike Waxman. Typically, a few of us would present the awards, but in order to be safe and practice social distancing, Matt Lalonde, our Assistant Vice President for Student Development, and Christina Pratt, our Interim Director of Student Leadership, will be sharing the honor with me in presenting the awards. Before we get to the awards, we do have a special guest for you. And I would like to invite Dr. Matt Lalonde to come to the podium to introduce our special guest speaker. It is my honor to introduce James Peterson as our special guest speaker this evening. In 2017, James was recognized by SUNY Cobble Skills as Student Leader of the Year for his incredible leadership and service to the campus and surrounding community. During his tenure at SUNY Cobble Skill, James was significantly involved in various leadership capacities, including service as the assistant coach of SUNY Cobble Skill Lacrosse, involvement in several different clubs, Student Veteran Resources Center support staff, 
faculty student conduct board, service on numerous campus committees, fisheries and wildlife teaching assistant, and more. James lived a life of service, having served over 25 years active duty in the U.S. Marine Corps and dedicating his life to environmental preservation through leadership in environmental conservatories and alliances. It is with great privilege that I welcome James Peterson. Greetings from Camp Bullis in San Antonio, Texas. First of all, I want to congratulate you on your achievement. By your actions, you have proven yourself to be a leader and you are being honored for it. This is truly an awesome recognition, and I hope that you will continue your leadership success in future endeavors. I'm going to spend the next few minutes giving you a brief overview on my perspective on leadership with a focus on entry-level leadership. I learned to be a leader in the military over the course of a 25-year career. Since retiring from the military, I have found that the same leadership skills I use to lead Marines in battle are equally effective in the workplace. My advice to you will cover three key areas. Number one, establishing a new leadership relationship. Two, leadership responsibilities. And three, personal leadership development. Establishing a new leadership relationship. One of the most challenging aspects of leadership occurs as you enter a new leadership role. This is particularly true if you are new and an unknown. Your new crew will be watching your every move and may even test your resolve. How you handle this initial encounter is crucial to your future success. First impressions as a new leader are particularly important. During this initial phase, observation is a critical skill. Learn what your team does and how they do it. Make changes if they are necessary, but only after careful consideration. When you meet your teammates, be friendly, but keep your distance until you learn the dynamics of the workplace. Be particularly wary of situations that may be perceived by others as favoritism. A sure way to gain credibility in the workplace is through your knowledge. Research and study your new field. On day one, it is important to be conversant with the language of your new profession. As time goes by, you should strive to become the subject matter expert. The next subject I'm going to talk about is your responsibilities as a leader. As a leader, you are responsible for two things, mission accomplishment and resource management in that order. Mission accomplishment has to be the focus of your team. In order to do this successfully, first you have to determine what you are supposed to be accomplishing. I have found that it is tremendously helpful if you get your boss's input on this. Once the mission is identified, guide your team's efforts towards attaining that goal. As a leader, your role is to enable and enhance your team's productivity. You do this by reinforcing positive actions while eliminating the negative ones. So number one, accomplish the mission. Don't lose sight of it. Your secondary leadership responsibility is resource management. That includes personnel, equipment, and your budget. You have to get a handle on these elements that allow you to accomplish your mission. Your personnel create a positive work environment that fosters growth. Be fair and consistent when dealing with your team. As far as your equipment goes, ensure its proper use and its maintenance. For your budget, make a plan and follow it. Watch out for fraud, waste, and abuse. Personnel, equipment, and budget. These are the resources that you need to accomplish your mission. Don't abuse any of them. The last piece of advice I have for you involves your personal leadership development. As I told you earlier, I owe much of my leadership ability to the military. The Marine Corps invests a significant amount of time and effort into developing leaders. Promotions in the military are often tied to extensive formal leadership training at a school. Unfortunately, this is most often not the case outside of the military. New leaders in the civilian sector rarely, if ever, receive substantial leadership training. In order to assist you in your leadership development, I'm going to share a coveted resource with you. A leadership resource that helped me immensely in my career. 
was the Marine Corps 14 leadership traits and 11 leadership principles. I have used these guiding tenets, particularly the leadership principles, as a benchmark to gauge and improve my leadership skills. An internet search for RP0103, Principles of Marine Corps Leadership, will provide you with these invaluable materials so that you can take advantage of them too. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope it helps as you transition into new leadership roles. Keep up the great work. The SUNY Skill community is extremely proud of you. Adios. Thank you, James. And as always, you are truly an inspiration for us all. Well, now that I've done a wardrobe change, that's the signal for it's time for the awards. And it is truly my honor to present the Emerging Student Leadership Award. This award recognizes first year students who assumed active and sustained leadership roles in campus organizations or initiatives that enrich student life and the campus community. These students set themselves apart and aspire to be successful in everything they do. And our Emerging Student Leadership Award goes to three students this year, Alex Allen, Joshua Bailey, and Anna Post. And now I'd like to invite to the podium, Christina Pratt, our Interim Director of Student Leadership. It is my honor to assist with the presentation of the Excellence in Student Leadership Award. This award recognizes students who have demonstrated positive attributes of student leadership and meaningful contributions to the enrichment of student life and the campus community. These 25 students have maintained sustained involvement in campus life through activities, clubs, organizations, service, athletics, and program development. And the award winners are Abigail Armstrong, Catherine Bosley, Erica Cabrera, Veronica Colazzo, Lillian Cowburn, Christy Ann Frank, Nicole Gogolski, Melissa Keller, Michonne Curtin, Paige Lamb, Cheyenne Matulowicz, Carolyn Nelson, Jada Pereira, Kyleen Phillips, Addison Randall, Ashley Reynoso, Shannon Rooney, Nathaniel Short, Alexandra Smith, Marta Suska, Abigail Sweeney, Jasmina Syed, Sarah Thomas, Cora Witherell, and Erica Zingoni. And now I'd like to invite back to the podium Matthew Lalonde, who will be presenting the Agent of Change Award. Thank you, Christina. The Agent of Change Award recognizes students who have shown dedication in promoting and facilitating the positive efforts of diversity and inclusion at SUNY Cobleskill. The award recipient demonstrates a passion for improving the community toward a better understanding of how we are all connected while also appreciating and valuing differences. This year, there are two recipients of the Agent of Change Award. The first student is everything we strive for in a student leader at SUNY Cobleskill. She is bright, talented, involved, and inclusive. She has excelled in her many roles at the college. She has mastered the art of hospitality in admissions as a leader and intern, has helped lead the Empire of Change organization, its On Us chapter, community service programs, and residence in her residence hall. As a resident assistant, she has been a welcoming source of comfort and security. This student also excelled as a leader on the alternative spring break trip of 2019. She was a uniting factor in the group's dynamics and successes. She has left her mark on this campus and is the exact alumni we are proud to send out into the world. J. 
Jada Pereira. Our next awardee has time and again shown grace and grounding under pressure and in the most challenging of situations. Her leadership skills have come to be a trademark in every opportunity she has embraced as a student. She has consistently risen to the occasion to lead her peers inside and outside of the classroom. She has served as a teaching assistant in her K-9 courses, has been a resident assistant, and has led or co-led positive changes through her roles in Student Government Association. This student has also left her mark on this campus, and we are also so very proud to send out into the world, Ashley Reynoso. It is my honor to present the Distinguished Student Leadership Award. This award recognizes two students who have distinguished themselves through service or achievement that significantly benefits the student body or the college as a whole. These students have exhibited a pattern of exemplary service over their years at SUNY Cobleskill. Award considerations include cultural competence, community service, health, safety and wellness, athletics, programming, student governance, and student organization involvement. The first of the two winners is a student who is a true embodiment of dynamic, transformative leadership. The student's impact on the SUNY Cobleskill campus cannot be overstated. Recognized during last year's award ceremony as an agent of change, the student has continued to lead by example through her actions across several fronts, including serving as the presiding officer of Greek organization Iota Kappa Sigma and the Empire of Change Club. She has been a key part of the rise of IOTA as a leading Greek organization that provides support to other women who strive for leadership progression while serving others through community service and educational opportunities. Along with those leadership challenges, she also serves as one of our strong resident assistants, providing mentorship and support to many residents. This awardee is a role model for many of our students who are trying to find their way in their educational journey. I am pleased to announce Maya Jackson as one of our two Distinguished Student Leaders of the Year. Our next Distinguished Student Leader is a Jack of All Trades. This awardee has been providing outstanding leadership at SUNY Cobleskill for years. Recognized at last year's Leadership Awards, he continues to strive for leadership progression and find ways to positively impact others. This awardee serves as a senior resident assistant and his positive, upbeat approach to leadership is applauded by not only his immediate peers and residents, but also by countless others. He has created student organizations at the campus, such as the Cybersecurity Club, and has been involved in numerous leadership positions. He is creative in the countless programs he has facilitated and tenacious in facing challenges. This past year, Residential Life restructured two residence halls from two professionals to one that provided oversight for building operations. This student's leadership was essential to the success of that transition. This awardee is the type of student that will not only volunteer to take on any challenge, he strives to have the greatest positive impact on the personal development of each student that he comes in contact with. This Distinguished Student Leadership Award goes to Michael Pohamas. The final award of the event will be presented by Dr. Hopkins Gross, who I'd like to invite back at this time. Thank you, Matt. I am so pleased to present the Student Leader of the Year Award. This award recognizes the student who represents the highest level of student leadership at SUNY Cobleskill. This student makes extraordinary contributions to the college, mentors future leaders, has been engaged and has led a wide range of campus activities and demonstrates exceptional service to others. The breadth and depth of this student's action has had a significant impact on our community and beyond. This year's Student Leader of the Year awardee is a confident, collaborative, positive, and well-rounded individual who is a current SGA Senator. This person serves on the Campus Engagement Board the awardee participated in Hall Council. The awardee has served as both Vice President and President for two major agricultural organizations on our campus and has accomplished a great deal of work both on and off campus with these organizations. The person has participated in community service activities, including alternative spring break, volunteering for opening weekend, and providing service to off-campus agencies. She is also a member of the Campus Cobleskill Auxiliary Services Board, also known as CAS. So she's on the board of directors there. 
and the sole student representative to the college's Middle States Accreditation Committee. Through both of these roles, this awardee has provided the student voice in a solid and balanced fashion. I remember personally watching this student speak at an SGA meeting and thought to myself how wonderfully her leadership strength and poise shined. She really is a true leader. I am so pleased to share this year's Student Leader of the Year Award winner is Brittany Van Duzer. Congratulations to everyone. I'd like to acknowledge and thank each and every one of you. We are truly, truly fortunate to have such a wonderful group of student leaders here at SUNY Cobleskill. You are the reason why we come to work every day and continue to come to work every day, even if virtually. And a few words of thanks. I'd like to acknowledge Caleb Grant and Kyle Fossey for filming the event and Bryson Franick for all of his editorial expertise and of course, a big thank you for the wonderful job that Sherry Thorrington did organizing the entire process of these Excellence in Student Leadership Awards. Last, the president is very much looking forward to addressing all students, and particularly our seniors, at the May 9th online event. Please be sure to tune into that as well as to hear her words of wisdom. Thank you, be well, and we miss you.